Welcome back to our Cross Canada Tour. This is part one of day 16. In this video, we got up early in the morning to leave from Pincher Creek to Tabor. Our first stop was in Fort McLeod. We had a quick lunch there. Our second stop was in Lethbridge. We had our second lunch there. After Lethbridge, we started to head toward Tabor. When we got up in the morning, the air quality was very poor. Due to all the forest fires, there was a thick cloud of smoke throughout Alberta. And this smoke would remain for our stay in Alberta. Uh, we did make it to Fort McLeod. That was our first rest, about 50 kilometers outside of Pincher Creek. And it's a beautiful town, a very quaint town. We went up historic Main Street. You'll see that in this video. You'll even see the RCMP officers wearing their old attire, riding horseback. It was very cool. After we left Fort McLeod, we did make it into Lethbridge. Uh, we went past the main uh, train bridge, uh, the largest one of its kind, I think, in the world. And it was very difficult coming up that hill into Lethbridge. We picked up a few supplies in Lethbridge, and after our lunch, we headed into Tabor. But for now, this episode will end at Lethbridge. I also made a post in a Facebook group in Lethbridge asking if anybody could uh, send a photo of the sign and I did get a couple of responses and we used one of the photos at the end. So thank you for whoever sent that photo in. We're at the Sleepy Hollow Campground. We came in on here. We had to camp right down there behind that building by that tree and stash our food in the bush because there's bears and there is bear scat in various places here. And uh, here we are leaving Pincher Creek. It's Saturday, July 15th, I think. And going hopefully to Tabor. Yeah, uh, Tabor is quite a ways. I believe it's 150, but we are back in the prairies so we have no more mountains so i'm confident we can make it there actually yeah just the wind to contend with yeah so we never know what the wind is going to bring so i think we're all packed up and ready to go and here we are at the sleepy hollow campground okay just going out to this traffic circle we've got to get back up to highway three going east we're going uphill and into the wind but as you can see it's still very smoky here and uh, this is the town of Pincher Creek oh. got a number of services here we're not gonna stay we're going to get on to Lethbridge and hopefully Tabor, Alberta today. We'll see how far we can make it. There we are. Number six north and three east. We're almost at the corner of six and number three. Uh, we're going to take the number three east. You can see the sign for the junction, the crow's nest. You can see Fort McLeod, crow's nest pass, and the uh, hamlet of Pincher station business area. So we're going to Fort McLeod. but prairie land you can't even see the mountains anymore just some foothills such a smoky day the mountains are way behind us that's too bad all right here we are number three east crow's nest We'll see the sign for 
Fort McLeod. Probably left bridge too. No. Very smoky, you can <clears throat> barely see Pincher Creek on my right hand side. Barely see the town. The highway is three kilometers north of the town. Take a break here. Refuel up. Well, this is the community of Fort McLeod. Main Street, Holy Cross, Catholic Church. Wow, that's pretty beautiful. And here we are, going to take some rest looking into the valley. I think we'll have to cross that bridge, son. So they've kind of kept some of the buildings 
same way. Historic Main Street in Fort McLeod. It's kind of neat. Bakery. Let's see the old American Hotel. Fort McLeod going to Left Bridge.
climb out too. Kind of reminds me of uh, Drum Heller. this massive train bridge it's the largest one in the world I think of its kind <sighs> boy was it difficult <sighs> coming out of the coulee there <sighs> wow <sighs> that was hard This bridge, just massive. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Gosh, come here. Here's uh, a little, uh, I don't know what it is, a rest area with Welcome Ooh. to Left Bridge. It's nice. That is. Very nice. Boy, coming up that hill, Josh, is pretty difficult. Yeah. Going down was much easier. 